Well, hello and welcome back. As you can see, this is Journal Monthly. <clears throat> and this is going to be the last one for August. When I'm here next Friday with you, it will be the 1st of September. So we'll be starting on a new style journal. Okay, so not much really to do now. I just wanted to add a different style pocket to the back so if we open up this way we've got the largest of our tags and we've got these two plain areas either side our little notebook now normally <clears throat> i'm going to decorate this one because i think in the blue that's a more standout pattern Normally I would use this die and I would put that there and I would poke some little bits of interest in there. Okay, um, but I know not everybody has got one of those dies. So I thought I'd show you the way you can make something similar with a standard piece of interesting paper and a circle punch. You don't even need a circle punch if you haven't got one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out how wide and how tall that I need this to be. So I've got a little fold there. I'm going to make sure it's straight like so. Now obviously I want pattern side out. So like that. Okay, so I've got a double. I'm going to take my craft knife. Obviously, you could take scissors if you wanted to, but we all know how I get on with a straight line with scissors. So, I'm just going to oh, apparently not cut that. I'm just going to cut that. Okay, now I've got this. I need to make sure of the height. I don't, again, want to go above the straight area. Where it starts to have its triangle cutouts, I do not want to be there. So, I can come to about there. So, now that I know where it is, I'll put my ruler across there. And cut that piece off. So I've now got <clears throat> this folded piece that will sit in there like that. Okay. But I want to create pockets, don't I? Because in this I've got one, two, three, four, five pockets. I think five's going to be too many. I'm going to opt for three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up on my mat she says you know what I mean anyway how are you all summer holidays are drawing to a close nearly time for the children to go back to school have you had a good summer one two three four five six that's just over six and a half it's about six and three quarters um, so I think I want to make my pocket sizes different. So I think I'm going to go for two and a half on the bottom. So I'm lining my ruler up to my fold. And I'm doing a cut line just to the centre. That was two and a half. I'm then going to go half so that'll be one that'll be two on this one now let's do two and a half again and then that one will be shorter so line that up and do that cut there like that so now i've got these three separate pieces okay 
<clears throat> Excuse me, let's just have some water. I've been struggling with a really dry mouth for some reason. Anyway, so there's my half. Let's fold it now so it's easier to see where the center is. And I want to put, <coughs> sorry, I want to put a center thumb hole there like that I don't know that is completely center but and so it doesn't look odd if I've got them in the wrong places this one I'm gonna go to that side yeah so it doesn't matter that they're you know they're deliberately different and then this side on this one so now I've got three thumb holes so, so, so thumb holes goodness me so <clears throat> the next thing to do is to obviously decorate in some way the space that is behind the thumb holes so we've got this leftover piece of paper now if i'd done them all down the middle we could obviously very easily just put that in there but that's not going to work now is it so what we're going to do is find a small piece to go behind each so we know that our thumb hole is not an inch but this ruler is so that's going to be more than enough so there's one there's two and then here is three okay so we've got our three little decorations for back so this one am i even on camera very very near the end okay let's come over here so this one is going to need to sit about there so it covers that one okay so paper to paper i'm just going to use good old-fashioned glue stick and yes I am doing it on my desk again whoops right needs to go about there need to rub off all that excess glue and that one is there ready to go over there like that okay and then this one needs to come this side so we're gonna line that one up there i know i'm gluing off screen but i'm only putting glue on the paper you don't really need to see that do you so i believe it goes there no, it needs to come up a little bit. There. <clears throat> now it's too high. Goodness me. There. See, it would have been so much easier to have just done them all down the middle, wouldn't it? I think that's it. Yeah, there you go. That's that one. And then the last one <clears throat> goes obviously at the bottom and it goes on level with that one there. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Now obviously we need to glue these shut. So, <clears throat> you can use your paper glue, you can use your PVA, you can use whatever you want to use. I'm going to use this purely because it's got a tiny nib. Okay, so I'm going to glue the flaps, not the background. Why am I not getting anything out of there? Right, so a little bit of glue down there, and then 
across the bottom and then up that side like that and then that one will fold over like that okay and we have got a little pocket in there okay so then exactly the same on this one I'm going to glue down this side across this bottom and up this side I'm going to pop that over there and then the last one Okay, so now we've got three pockets. You can't really see, can you? Can you use this? This will make it more obvious. So, you've got that one. And then you've got that one. And then you've got that one. You've got three pockets, okay? And I'm just going to adhere this to my back page I am going to use glue stick again for this make sure you glue the correct side I have done it before and glued it pocket side down which is a bit of an issue okay pick that up line it up to where you want it and stick that down like so and then while that's getting a good addition we're going to make some little bits to go in the pockets so I've got some of these Louise Heisel pictures I've got an old check. I don't know where the check came from. It was just in my stash. Um, we've got some of the papers left. Okay. And I've got a bit of yellow card. So let's take. Which picture should we take? Because I want to do three different things. So, what about the girl and her horse? We'll take her out of there, like so. I'm going to have. A bit of the blue paper round it so we'll have a, a tear and obviously you can make whatever you'd like to make for your last three pockets you may not even want to make the last three pockets it's entirely up to you And then obviously tear around that, tear around that, and then where that's not straight there, we can tear down there. Okay, right on the back there. So that's the one I think that I'm going to put in. The top pocket. What is going on here? There we go. So that's going to sit in the top pocket there. And then we've got this check which we're going to cut to make sure it's nice and straight. So 
is obviously um, a faux check. Sorry about the noise you can hear in the background, that's Boo snoring and the fan. <laughs> so despite starting the day raining, it's warmed up again. Okay, so I probably want this to go in this, this pocket all the way down here, like that. But obviously I want to give it some strength. That paper's quite thin, really. I suppose we could use this same paper that we've used to make the pocket. It does mean you won't be able to journal on it, but we are journaling. You know, we've got that whole notepad at the bottom haven't we so at, at the bottom at the middle sorry if you look the whole little notebooks running through so that's fine whoops see always happens cannot cut straight to save my a knife. Apparently I can't cut straight either. Some days it's just not meant to be, is it? And we'll trim off that little bit of white that's on that end. And then that one will sit in there like that. And then I think a mini tag to go in there. So I cut that paper in half, didn't I? I shouldn't really have done that, although that one is probably tall enough so what i'm going to do with this one is hold it over hold that over again My little card okay so we've got a little tag <clears throat> I'm gonna go down the two sides like so then I'm going to stick the whole thing to this piece of card so that it's got a little bit of rigidity on it and that we can write on the back of this one okay that's going to go Down there. Okay. 
Oh goodness me, that's such a thin line there. Let's try and thread it with the line. Right. I think it might be time for a new blade in this knife. There we go. Okay. So then this tag will go in that pocket there. And there we have our very last page with our three pockets. I mean, there is space. You could put a second piece in there if you wanted to. And also a second space, you know, a second piece in there. I'm just going to put one, but obviously you could fill it up if you wanted to. So there you are. There is our August journal. We've got the lovely sari silk. It's super bouncy and, you know, scrummy with all of these fabrics. We've got die cuts. We've got stitchery with a Suffolk puff. When we open it out, we've got flips and flaps all over the place. We've got lots of little bits of writing space. It flaps down, it opens out. We've got another pocket with more of the sari silk, more of the embossing, more fabric from my granddaughter's dress. And then we come over, we've got a lovely doily, two tags sitting there. We've got another little notepad. There's even a couple of ladies in that one. And then we've got another doily with our envelope. And then we come to the very back and we start to go back the other way. There's the one we've just done. There's our notepad and there's that page. So there it is. There it is. Our tag book and that is all done and ready for someone to enjoy. What are you doing with all your journals that we are making during this course? Are you keeping them? Are you gifting them? Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you next Friday with a whole new journal style for September. Stay safe. Bye bye for now. Mm-hmm.